one is, is actually talking to, to Krishna, experience Krishna, Krishna's direct presence. Um, and uh, Prabhupada says here, yeah, once, uh, once you eat uh, food that has been offered to Krishna, so once you've actually uh, also at one's home, all the food that one uh, is cooking should be offered to Krishna, and then once you eat. Very simple. Uh, we, we do not say you should stop eating. No. Uh, what we say continue eating, but before you eat, simply offer the food to Krishna first before you eat it, and then eat remnants of food that has been offered to Krishna. You'll, you'll to experience a dramatic difference if you're not already practicing it. It will it will be food. You no know, eating from being something sensual and something worldly. It will become actually a spiritual practice. One will. Uh, one would actually become enlightened simply by eating. It's such a powerful thing. Um, and uh, once you'd have an, an altar at home uh, with pictures of Krishna, pictures of uh, the line of gurus and like that, and then uh, do some, you know, some worship or some meditation in front of that, or sing something a little every day. I mean, it's a, it's a we have a whole booklet on how to practice Krishna consciousness in any situation. Uh, we have it in Danish up here, um, and there are also books in English and in, in English right here. But it's uh, you know simple practices that one does every day. The the traditional Vedic culture actually is that one has a, you know some spiritual practice like that in the morning when one gets up. First thing one one gets up one. One, uh, you know, takes, you know, gets up early, takes a, a bath, a shower, cleans oneself, put on clean clothes, and then does some spiritual practice, some Christian conscious practice, chanting, reading, and so on. And also, before one goes to bed like that, then one, uh, one also has something, something reading, something arty, singing, so on, and then goes to bed thinking of Krishna. And then, uh, all uh, the rest of the activities one is during, doing during the day, one should do for Krishna's satisfaction. One goes to work, one makes money, uh, one has duties like that, maintains one's family, whatever. Uh, so that should be done for, instead of doing it for myself, then I should do it, I do it for Krishna. I have my family, for example, I have my children. Uh, instead of thinking these are my children, no, these are Krishna's children. So I'm taking care of the children here for Krishna's satisfaction. There's no change in the, in the external activity, but it's a different meditation. And that practice of Krishna consciousness is what Krishna is hinting to here. That will actually enable one to uh, you know, get, control the mind, control the senses, and actually be on the spiritual platform always, all the time. There's no practice of Krishna consciousness, it's not depending on any circumstance. It can be practiced anywhere, and I can generally say one should not change one's external circumstance. Of course, if one is, is engaged in very sinful activities, even for maintenance, for example, if one is, 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 one's job is at a, as a butcher at a slaughterhouse, maybe one should get a different job. But otherwise, if one has a regular, honest, job like that, that's fine. Just, you know, but just add Krishna to your life, wherever you are. And uh, that will, uh, will, everything will come from there. The mind will come, I mean, mind will come, get under control, that's the least. One actually will become fully absorbed in Krishna, which is the highest perfect, uh, perfection of yoga practice. So, um, yeah, so it's, again the verse was here, it is undoubtedly very difficult to curb the restless mind, but it is possible by suitable practice and by detachment. So it's, it's, it's been offered to us, this practice, this Krishna consciousness, been offered by uh, gurus, guru parampara, by uh, the spiritual masters and, and so on. And it's just, we can all adopt it wherever we are and become completely Krishna conscious, spiritually realized uh, souls, which is what is the goal of the Bhagavad Gita.
one minute for one question. Uh, at six o'clock, Madhava Shraya will answer questions for half an hour today. We only have half an hour for question and answer, Madhava Shraya in the other room. Uh, we'll be a little tight on time today. Uh, is there any one, one question here before Kirtan? Oscar? Uh, it seemed quite uh, you spoke, you spoke with this uh, story about Edison was working, inventing, mm. and by his excitement he was able to control his mind. So maybe should we also become inventors and by the excitement we can control our minds? You should at least become invents how to you know, apply the devotional service in your life properly. Don't invent it independently, but by, you know, f through the instruction of the, you know, experienced devotees and uh, guidance of your charyas and so on. But you should, and then you should become very excited about it. It's a, it's, and once you be excited, once you put one's enthusiasm into practice, we shouldn't be half-hearted, lukewarm, we should throw ourselves with enthusiasm into practice of devotional service. Yes. Yeah. That we should do. And that's possible. We can do it. And, and if we just act enthusiastically, we may not feel it, but we act like enthusiastically. And then the result is actually we also become, in, by acting, by pretending as if we are enthusiastic, suddenly we feel actually we become it naturally. So, yeah. Okay. Might as well, it looks very patient. Yeah, uh, so we have Kirtan now for the next, for the next uh, 20 minutes. And you will leave? I will leave, okay. Hello! Yeah. Oh. Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Thank you everyone for coming. So more came during the class. Please everyone take uh, all the pillows aside and the chairs put them aside and then we will sing and dance for the pleasure of the Lord.